Hey guys, this is Christine. I am driving right now and I just got a job working for Lyft, which is a rideshare company. Um, it's an app. It's L-Y-F-T and they have it in lots of different cities all over the U.S., mostly in California, but here in Detroit, it's brand new and um, we just launched on Friday. Today is... Um, like Wednesday morning at like 2 a.m. or so and uh, there is two made there's many major highways in Detroit and one of them being I-75 and the other um, another one is 94 and I was heading north on 75 to 94 east and people take that interchange incredibly too fast and um I'm coming up to it and all of a sudden I see this car in the distance that is um, rolled and there was like debris all over the place and I have to navigate my way through and I stopped and I, I could see these three young people standing up on like the side of the highway um, next to this rolled vehicle and I stopped and I rolled down my window and I said, you know, are you guys okay? Did you call somebody like 911? And, you know, all I kept thinking was, oh my gosh, this, like, this could have been prevented. You know, like, people don't usually take interchanges quickly unless they're just being ignorant or they're drunk. So, PSA, <laughs> as a Lyft driver, and as a sober person, I just want to remind you that it is not worth it to drink and drive and to please, please, if you're drunk, download the Lyft app in your app store. And I will put a link in this video for my personal link to download the app yourself. But it is so much cheaper a cheaper than a DUI okay let's see you got like between 10 and 20 dollars for a lift versus like 10 grand for a DUI right and the other thing is something like tonight where I saw these three young people who rode their vehicle that could be what happens to you if you choose to drink and drive also if you choose to get in the car as a passenger with somebody who is drunk and it can be prevented by choosing a company like my the company I work for to drive you and um I mean yeah I did totally get on the phone right after that and call 911 just to make sure that somebody arrived at that destination because one guy had blood all over his face and I thought God, I hope they didn't just call their buddy to help them out with this. I really sincerely hope they actually called an emergency to take care of it. And um, I wanted to make sure they got, you know, proper medical attention. Because, um, you know, it's just for real. And like I said, it can be prevented. So everybody, please take care of yourselves and take care of the people you love. Um and don't make silly decisions and please drive safe. I love you.